We Need a Pooh's Rumbly Tumbly Adventure is a very simplistic game. The game is intended for children, and it should be played only by them. As for older players, the game is very simplistic and bland. In the game, you talk to characters and collect enough honeypots from the map to unlock the next areas. You get some enemies and you have to run and pop a balloon to stop those enemies, and the walking animations feel sluggish. But the game isn't lazy though, as there is a stealth section with Tigger, a butterfly chase with Aeor, a quick time event section with Piglet, and these sections give enough variety in the first hour of gameplay. But since the game has 2 hours worth of gameplay, you get to see everything in the first hour, so the second one becomes tedious. The second hour of gameplay feels stale. Overall, the game is kind of mediocre, even if it isn't lazy. It's just that it's slow. It's good for children, but not for older players. And Piglet's Big Game is actually the game that was released first. And after playing them in reverse order, I can tell you that Rumbly Tumbly Adventure is a great improvement. But the two games are still very similar in their core. Remember the Piglet minigame from the previous one? Well, the game is based around that. Remember Winnie the Pooh walking around slowly to collect stuff? It's the same here, but with a different purpose. Piglet collects cookies, not honeypots. Piglet collects cookies in order to buy masks that will scare off the bad dreams his friends are having. There are 5 areas to explore, the game is longer, it takes you around 2 hours and a half to 3 hours to complete, the visual variety is higher, which makes the first game feel downgraded, but even if levels are more varied, the gameplay isn't. It doesn't have as many sections that break up the gameplay. Here, aside of some occasional Tigger sections, you only collect cookies and play the scare minigame. Ok, there are puzzles on the map, but it doesn't really help the game to feel varied. Also the password system in both games is annoying, especially in this one since it's longer. Overall both games are kind of slow and they get bland, but I guess they would work out for very young kids which are the target audience after all. And if you're wondering which one is the best, Rumbly Tumbly Adventure is the best, because it has the most varied content.